You're gonna need this to save your turbo from overboosting and blowing up your motor. If you wanna save your turbos from overboosting and blowing up your motor, you should be watching this video. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Power Addiction and today we're going to talk about how to set up your AEM True Boost system. If you wanted to see how to install your True Boost system, watch my last week's video and that's where I show you how to install it. Today, I show you how to set it up. If this is your first time in my channel, I'm a huge Nissan enthusiast. I got a R32 Skyline, twin turbo, another 300ZX twin turbo, and then there's another 300ZX twin turbo. I don't know why I have all of those. I have an Xterra, which is uh, with my mechanic trying to figure out the electronic bugs. I don't know why I have an MR2. I sh really should be getting rid of it. And then I uh, get a 944. That was just an absurd decision that I made and I regret it. Anyway, let's show you how you set it up. It's super easy. It's a couple of step process and you should be good to go. All right, let's show you how to set it up. You press these two buttons. One, two. You go to program menu. You press it again. One, two. One, two. You go to U unlimited. So basically you want to see PSI, bar or KPA. I would like to see a PSI. PSI, double press. Now it's scramble boost. Scramble boost is basically kill mode. Um, if you are on a drag strip or you want to pass a truck or a fast car, you hit the scramble boost button, which I don't have it. I don't have the scramble boost connected. And then you get an extra special boost setting uh, to hunt down something. Um, I don't have it set up in my car, so I'm not going to worry about it. I, I put it at 10 because that's all. I want to run it at 10 PSI, my maximum boost. Double click SCR is the duration of scramble boost, how long you want scramble boost to work for. Again, it's not really hooked up. I have it at 40. I uh, just leave it up. Now, SCN. It's uh, how is your wastegate set up? Is it an internal or an external wastegate? 90% of the vehicles on the road are internal wastegate. Very highly unlikely you will have an external wastegate unless you actually do have an external wastegate. Now, for PSI values between 1 and 29, you should select I and 1 and 50, you should select uh, E. So this is going to run 10, so 29, uh, below 29, so I will be an I. Click, alert. So at, this, at, at what point, you know, you want all things to go haywire. Uh, it will go red and uh, uh, you know how to back off from the boost. So because I want to run 10 PSI, usually you should put it at 11, but I don't know, uh, me, I run it, I put it at 10. So when I see the alarm, meaning I hit my full boost, I back off. SPR, SPR is the spring load, or at what boost do you want your uh, waste gauge to crack open? The way to set it up is whatever your spring load is on your waste gate, minus three PSI. Now, this is stock. I don't know what is my spring load is right now. So it's safe to say five PSI is a spring load and then minus three is two. Now, it's an RV20 from the factory. They run at seven PSI, seven or eight PSI. So even five is probably not the spring load, but you don't want to go below two because then it takes too long for the turbos to spool up. So I leave it at two. That is full. Full is the graphs, how long you want to go. It's two increments of 24, so you, I would like to be in 24. That way, the whole thing lights up, so at 10 PSI will be 10, 20. My full boost, when, when I hit full boost, it will probably be right around here, it won't be there. No, no. I want it at 20. 20, then at full boost, it will, the whole thing lights up. But the moment the whole thing lights up, it goes red because the alarm kicks in at that time. Now, double click, boost setting A. Um, I have 10 PSI because that's what I want to run. And then boost setting B, which is the same thing as A. You go back or forward, I have it at 10. So boost setting A, 
So this is the duty cycle of what you want to do. So I want the duty cycle to be, you should really should start from 10 and then, you know, do your pulls so that because if you increase your duty cycle, um, it's easier for you to hit high boost. Uh, duty cycle meaning is when you are in gas, at what percentage of the time your uh, waste gauge is open. So um, in my Z, I have it at 80, and this one I will have it at 70. And same thing with B, I will have it at 70. Because uh, I want the waste gate to open up early. So let's, I'm picking up at 70, it's basically meaning 70% of the time the waste gate is open and only 30% of the time the waste gate is off. The best thing to do is when you get your car tuned, let the tuner set them up. Run. That's pretty much it. We're good to go. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Um, I'm going to go out for a drive and uh, let's see uh, whatever I configured, everything working fine or not. If not, um, you will gonna see a section where I fix it. Uh, if it is, meaning it worked. Please hit the like and subscribe button and the bell notification, a lot more shenanigans coming in.